Welcome to pre-math. In this video we have got these uh, two triangles as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this uh, triangle ECD is an equilateral triangle and moreover this angle A is 7x minus 6 and this angle B is 9x minus 2 and now we are going to find the value of x Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Before we proceed any further, let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle ECD and we know that this is an equilateral triangle. So therefore, all of its interior angles are going to be 60 degrees each. That means this angle is 60 degrees, this angle is 60 degrees and likewise this angle is 60 degrees as well. And here's our next step. Let's recall the vertical angles. Vertical angles are the angles opposite to each other when two lines cross each other. And here in our case this angle and this angle they are vertical angles and they are congruent likewise this angle and this angle they are vertical angle as well and finally this angle and this angle are vertical angles so therefore this angle is going to be 7x minus 6 this angle is going to be 9x minus 2 and finally this angle is going to be 60 degrees. So therefore our angles ABC turns out to be 9x minus 2. Angle BAC is 7x minus 6. And finally ACB angle is 60 degrees. And now let's recall triangle sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of the three interior angles in this uh, triangle ABC must be 180 degrees. That means if we add these uh, three angles, that must be equal to 180 degrees. Let me go ahead and write down 9x minus 2 plus 7x minus 6 plus 60 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Now let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the left hand side. So that is going to give us 16x plus 52 equals to 180. Let's subtract 52 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore our 16x turns out to be 128. Let's divide both sides by 16. So therefore our x value is going to be equal to 8 and that's our solution. So that's our solution x equals to 8. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.